This is my old 2016 MacBook Pro. Now for you keen eyed viewers you may notice something strange. The keyboard backlight is on but the display is not. This is because my old MacBook screen has finally decided to give up and with a replacement screen being just as much as buying another used MacBook it can be deemed pretty much e-waste at this point. Now I don't want to let this go just yet considering it does have the 3.3GHz i7 and 16GB of RAM. I mean it's still a capable machine in 2026. So I went down a rabbit hole and stumbled across a community of MacBook users repurposing their devices by removing the screen to create what they call a headless MacBook or a slab top. I thought this was pretty cool and it turns out that if you do it correctly you can actually fully remove the screen and keep the Wi-Fi functionality but you also benefit from reduced temperatures since the air can flow much better without the screen blocking its path. So let's start the disassembly process. So before we do anything we need to disconnect the battery which you can see I've done here. Now this piece I have here is the Wi-Fi module which we need to ensure that we do not break. It needs to be carefully moved out of the way so the screen can come out. Now we can remove the screws for the hinges holding the screen. Alright, progress update. After some very questionable DIY where I've had to literally bend back this because the fucking screws will not come out like they have on this side. Doesn't matter what piece I use from the set, they just will not budge. So I've had to kind of get in there with a hammer and chisel just to knock out that piece as you can see. But finally, the screen is now detached from the base of the MacBook. So we've made some progress there. However, I believe that this might be the Wi-Fi antenna, which is actually what I need in the first place and was the reason I was attempting to take this piece off to detach the screen. So I'm gonna have to do some research, figure out how I'm supposed to get this back in here. Otherwise, we're just gonna have no Wi-Fi capability unless this is just a screen module, but I need to figure that out. So let me go have a look at that and I will get back to you guys once I know some more information. All right, after a bit of research, it turns out that this piece here is called a T-Con board, which I believe just controls the LCD screen. So we can actually throw this away as we won't need it anymore, since obviously we're not gonna have a video output. This piece here, which I had to mangle to get off of the screws is what we need. This is the Wi-Fi antenna module. So should everything should stay as it is here, here. we can get rid of this and I just need to put back all of these small screws within here and find an alternative solution to hold down this mangled piece but we should be on track and the build should be going perfectly right I've just pulled off the excess metal there so clean that edge up I'm gonna see what screws I can kind of get back in here if any just to hold this down if not I'll just do some sort of DIY with some electrical tape and then yeah we'll pretty much be back together Pull the screws back in, reconnect the battery, put the base back on, check it still boots, and we should be good. After some professional electrical tape placement, we can reassemble. <laughs> So here we have the final result of the headless MacBook. I think it looks awesome, but we still need to test if we've broken anything and if it actually works. All right, let's give it a test run. So we just need to connect this cable here to the slab top, change the input on the monitor, hold down the power button and we'll see if we get anything. And there we have it. The slab top is fully operational. As you can see, we've got external display here. Even the touch bar still seems to be working. If we have a look at the we can still change that. If we look at the top, we still have Wi-Fi access. So there we go, guys. I think we can call that one a success. We repurposed an otherwise useless MacBook into something cool and functional for no cost at all. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and thank you for watching.